Diddy's sex trafficking trial has a formal start date, which was decided upon during a hearing where new guidelines for admissible evidence were also established. Judge Arun Subramanian of the Manhattan Federal Court set the date of the trial for May 5, 2025 on Thursday, October 10. The Associated Press reports that Diddy's mother, Janice Combs, and his kids attended the Bad Boy founder's initial appearance before Subramanian, who will handle the case going forward. Assistant U.S. Attorney Emily Johnson addressed the defense attorney's contention that Puff's 2016 assault video on his ex-girlfriend Cassie shouldn't be admitted into evidence during the hearing. The defense claims that Puff's Department of Homeland Security released the video to the public. A fair trial for Mr. Combs may be denied by the government's harmful and extremely biased pretrial publicity, according to the disgraced executive's attorneys, who also claimed that prior government disclosures had caused similar harm. Janice Small Combs, Sean Combs' mother, said in a statement through her family's attorney she is devastated and profoundly saddened by the allegations against her son, adding those accusing him of misconduct are seeking a financial gain and likened Combs to many individuals who have been wrongfully convicted due to their past actions or mistakes, though she also said Combs has made mistakes and may have been not entirely truthful when denying assault allegations raised by his ex girlfriend Cassie Ventura. Houston-based lawyer Tony Busby said he is representing 120 accusers who plan to file civil lawsuits across multiple states alleging crimes like sexual assault, rape and sexual abuse of minors in claims that will include many powerful people and many dirty secrets. Lawyers for Combs filed a notice asking the Second Circuit Court of Appeals in the Southern District of New York to overturn the decision to hold him in prison while he awaits trial, a choice judge Andrew Carter made citing concerns Combs had allegedly tampered with witnesses who had been contacted as part of the investigation against him.